Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Jay the Comic, and I'm gonna deliver you some stellar knowledge about the one and only Alexander Hamilton. Now let's not waste any more class time and get right into the news. <laughs> Now, here we have our beloved Alexander Hamilton. Now, little baby Ham here was born into the wonderful land of Nevis in the Caribbean. No, not that one. Yeah, there we go. Now, while he was there, life was great. Until his mom and himself got sick. And then his mom transferred to the Nacho Wednesday waiting line of heaven. So, with Mama Franku gone, he had to switch locations and decided to reside with his dear old cousin. But Cousin Franco decided it would be best if he went on and fell out of existence. I have a big cousin Franco right here in my hand for you! Whoops, I dropped it and it fell out of existence. I eat mm, kill himself. So that sucked. Then there was a hurricane. Isn't that great? Alexander hid away during the storm, but Alex here thought his time was up, so he decided to leave behind a will. But luckily he survived and showed his will to his mom in law. When his mom sees this, she goes, Holy crap, man! This is some talent, boy! I'm gonna send you to good old school so you can pursue your forbade legacy. But the downside was they were poor, so they had to get donations from other people, and somehow it worked? Cause I guess people aren't DX in the 17th century? Great. So Little Ham got on a boat to New York City. Great, right? No. The boat caught on fire. Wow, Alex must be really loving life right now. Oh, loving life. But somehow he got there anyway, cause movie magic. So he decided to go to King's College because Aaron Burr, his role model, got in. But he was poor, so he couldn't get that golden two year degree. Later, he went to the great Aaron Burr and decided to join the war effort. He went and got into the revolution because white people. George Washington was the leader at the time, but was exhausted because he had to write all this fan mail to the fans of the soldier. So, he wanted a secretary. Alex and Aaron Burr both wanted to be that secretary, but Aaron got reamed and Alex was ultimately chosen. At Yorktown, wait no, before Yorktown, Washington was Triggs at Alexium for wanting to command his own platoon. But George thought he was smart and he was like, yeah, we'll see what you can do and gave him one secretly hoping he would frick up and embarrass himself. But that's like really bad because if you lose it, I mean like you lose two and people die and stuff like that. Like what, what, what? Alex was happy. He was just a giddy little schoolgirl, but was still a little dead inside because Yorktown was the last battle. But happy anyway. But as usual, as movie magic goes, they won and the Brits surrendered. Then later on, Hamilton married a hot white chick and lived his life. Everything was great. Nothing could go wrong. Until he found out he was gay. And nothing can go wrong. Oh no, it all went wrong. So, in his gay fantasies, he wrote to his gar crush, the ultimate gay John Morin. While still confused about his sexuality, he went on to get Elizabeth Pregos, and a wonderful child was born. China! This beautiful baby 
was named Philip Schuyler. But Alex went and set a great example for his children and cheated on his wife with Maria Wren. Wait, what? I thought he was like gay. WTF? I mean, like, are you bi? That's not what the Wikipedia said. God damn it, Wikipedia! This is why everyone hates you! No one was supposed to know this scandalous information until the wonderful now Senator Aaron Byrd, James Madison, and John Jay found out because they wanted to get some dirt on him. Because according to not Wikipedia, Alexandrium was kind of a damn. So essentially, he got fricked and got kicked out of the cabinet by my main man Tommy Jay and decided to write his Reynolds pamphlet. This Reynolds pamphlet was essentially the cause of chaos in the community, and everyone was mad at Mr. Hamington. Also, remember Hammy's son? Yeah, he's dead now, but he's not important. Moving on, also somehow Alexander's waifu forgave him for cheating on her. Well, she must have been desperate. Any person would have been like, Sorry, it's the only Ratchet Black Person meme that I could find that didn't have cursing in it. Then comes the great election of 1800s. And the great powerful Aaron Burr ran against my main man T. Jeff. Everyone voted, but alas it was Ty. And the only person that didn't vote happened to be... Would you guess it? That's right. None other than Mr. Krabs. No, sorry. <laughs> It happened to be none other than the great Lulo Alexander Hamilton. And Alexander ultimately chose my main man TJ Jeff. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's right. But Mr. Burr was not happy. In fact, he was pissed the freak off. So he challenged Alexander Hamilton to a deal. And Alexander happily obliged. So, that's this present moment right now. Alex told me his plan, you know. Wanna hear it? Well, his plan is to try and be the bigger person and not shoot. Showing kindness to Mr. Burr. And in his worries, Mr. Burr will solemnly calm it off. It's a sure proof plan. I haven't gotten around to seeing it. Let's go see how it turned out. So, how'd it go, my main man, Mr. Han-